What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Ho-Oh and coaching Sneasler team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Ho-Oh, this restricted Pokemon is definitely the off meta of the bunch, right? You don't see it too much. It's not used pretty much at all, but still, I love this Pokemon so much and I always have a good time using it. But let's talk about this Ho-Oh a little bit. It's rocking the Grass Terror type with the Regenerator and the Covert Cloak as idol. I love its moveset. It's got Secret Fire, Brave Bird, Recover, and Flame Charge. This Pokemon can do some big time damage. And on top of that, it can recover its own HP. Like I mentioned, we also have Sneasler to coach up this Ho-Oh, giving it an attack and defense boost. The Sneasler also has Unburden with the Grassy Seed as its item, rocking the Dark Terror type with Dire Claw, Coaching, Taunt, and Fake Out for its moveset. So, really like this combo right there. Cannot wait to showcase it. Our final four Pokemon are all meta Pokemon. You got Rillaboom. Fluttermane, Shen Pao, and Torkoal. Torkoal is going to be great for weather control and for Trick Room. Shen Pao is going to be a big time physical attacker to pair up with either Ho-Oh or Rillaboom or even Sneasler to do some more damage. And then obviously Rillaboom and Fluttermane there. Doing Rillaboom and Fluttermane things. I feel like I don't have to explain that anymore. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match. Showcasing Ho-Oh and coaching Sneasler. Looks like we're going up against a pretty strong team here in match number one. Groudon, Raging Bolt, Fluttermane. On top of that, they got Shen Pao and Volcarona, a Pokemon that we just recently used on the channel. So, gotta watch out for that one. Um, How should we play this one? Who should we go into? We could go into Ho-Oh, but any rock move from Groudon would absolutely just rip up into us. But we do have the Grass Terror type, which isn't too bad. I mean, I don't mind leading Ho-Oh, especially if they're going to set the sun. I could lead it with Sneasler, but I mean, this thing is mediocre speed until we get it with Grassy Seed. I mean, could go into you. We could go into you and maybe coach him up. That's not bad. But I'd rather coach up the Ho-Oh, to be honest. Totally rather coach up the Ho-Oh. And honestly, we could just go Sneasler and Rillaboom. And maybe just U-turn pivot with Rillaboom and bring out Ho-Oh later in the match. That's not a bad turn. Fake out U-turn. I like that. Just to pop the Grassy Seed. And then our final Pokemon. Who should we use? Chen Pao or... Booster Energy Flutter Main, and it's kind of looking like Booster Energy Flutter Main. Gonna give us a nice way to deal with the Raging Bolt, the Shen Pao, even Urge Fu. Yeah, you gotta bring in Flutter Main here. You have got to bring in Flutter Main. So that's exactly what we're doing. Looking to pop those grassy seeds, looking to get after it, trying to get Ho-Oh out there and coach it up. Make it really bulky, especially up against a few of these physical attackers, right? I like it. As long as, as, long as that Groudon doesn't have Rock Slide. A few of them do run Rock Slide, a few of them don't. I feel like it's more don't. Usually, like, you see Heat Crash, you see Precipice Blades, Protect, all that good stuff. But they're going to end up leading these two. Um, I feel like we have to fake out the Groudon. I think it's a pretty easy fake out play here. And on top of that, I think we just go straight into a uh, a U-turn pivot into the uh, Flutter main slot. This thing's speed's going to get heightened. That is looking a little scary. Do I have Focus Sash? That's my real question. Do we have the Focus Sash? That might just protect Sneasler. I don't even have protect yet. We're just gonna go fake out here. Just fake you out and then just uh, U-turn pivot out of here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with doing zero damage. Groudon might protect, which is why I'd rather attack the Fluttermane than uh than anybody else. And honestly, I maybe should have made made a read and faked out the Fluttermane because I don't know why I have a feeling it's gonna thrash last year. Faking out that thing would have been awesome. Would have been huge, but I don't really mind Groudon in this terrain. I mean, it obviously can use Heat Crash, but we're faking it out this turn. Making this bad boy flinch, and he's just going to rip a Moonblast into my Sneasler. So you are faster than my Sneasler, which really sucks, and I'm going to be able to U-turn Pivot out of here. And I can bring out... I can bring out, what's it called, which is a bad Ho-Oh, but I don't think I can get off that coaching. That's my only problem. This Fluttermane is just way too fast right here. This Fluttermane is flying. Do I save the Sneasler or do I just sacrifice it? That's the real question. So I get out Ho-Oh. We're going to see what he wants to go for to from here. Probably a Heat Crash. Actually, you're flinching, so it turns out already over. Man, Fluttermane just with that speed. Really annoying me. Um, Terror Dark's not going to help us. Do I swap back into, like, a little here? I could, and then just maybe Sacred Fire the... Uh, I'm thinking of just Sacred Firing the, uh, the Flutter Main down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Do I Terrasalize? I don't think I Terrasalize. I don't think you're rocking with Rock Slide, so I'm just going to do this. 
I am just going to do this. So, Sneasel's going to drop back. We don't want to die out to a Moonblast here. Really, really don't want that. And Rillaboom is just going to come at, back out and about. Back to my Rillaboom. We love me some Rillaboom. There goes the Moonblast. Good call on our end. We have Vest, and actually that still did a ridiculous amount of damage. We're out speed, and Sacred Fire is going to pick up KO, which is pretty big for us. And what are you going for here? Mr. Groudon. You don't have Rock Slide. You have Thunder Punch. Ouch. So Thunder Punch can do some big time damage. Um, I might just end up hard swapping Ho-Oh here. And at least trying to rip a Wood Hammer. Because I got Regenerator ability. I can get back some mean HP with my Ho-Oh. Or I could go for a Recover here, turn one. Shen Pao's looking scary though. Shen Pao is looking scary. Hmm. Could take off Focus Sash with them. And then just bring out Booster Energy Flutter Main. I'm really I'm really down with that. I'm so down with that. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna swap our Ho-Oh, get Regenerator back out and about. I've been wanting to get Sneasler next to Ho-Oh this whole game, and I just can't. They're just playing playing this match so well. So I'm gonna swap into you. Uh, we're gonna fake out the Shen Pao. Hopefully it's not terrestrializing into like Ghost. And he's just gonna protect this turn, which kind of sucks. Show me a double protect. Show me a double protect. Cool. All right, that's fine. So I get free Regenerator off. I now have Fluttermane out on the field, and I could double down into. Uh, I could double down into Shen Pao right here, because I know it has Focus Sash. That's my one problem. I know it has the Focus Sash. So I might just go into Grass Guide here just to take off Focus Sash, and then just Terrastalize and drop Dazzle Gleam. Nice little Terra Gleam here. Nice, lovely Terra Gleam. All right, so look at the KO, at least one of their Pokemon. We have been leaving, leaving Groudon on the field for a bit too long right now. I'm going to try to figure out ways to kind of get around that. I might just have to start attacking this with the Will Boom. Doing some Grassy Guide damage, all that good stuff. But Dazzling Gleam should chip up a little bit. Nothing crazy, though. Nothing crazy. But we're also going to see a Terra pop out here from Groudon. Yep, Groudon Fire. Yep, Groudon Fire. Trying to KO me with Heat Crash. Probably going to work, right? It is probably going to work. Now, Groudon is a big threat to us right now. I mean, I got high horsepower, which can help us. This thing's going to end up going for a Sucker Punch, which does a ridiculous amount of damage. And he was actually Life Orb, not... Not what's it called. Not Focus Ash, like a normal Shen Pao. But hey, we're still going to pick up a KO here. Um, Groudon's probably going for a Heat Crash and hope, hopefully going after the Roll Boom, right? I'd rather him go after the Roll Boom than anything. Are you going after the Roll Boom? You're gonna heat crash who? He got here. It is gonna be Rollboom. So I keep my Fluttermane for an extra turn here. Um, Rollboom dies out. Could go back into Ho Oh. I could just go into my. My Sneasel here. What is my play? What is my play? Do I go into Sneasel? I mean, I could just fake out Sneasel. Well, or with Sneasel from here. Or I could just go into Ho Oh. And I think we do go into Ho Oh while the sun's still out. We can start ripping. I am scared of Thunder Punch, though. But we should be able to soak a Thunder Punch. Now could I come Urshifu? Who can just Sucker Punch me? In all honesty. In all honesty, you can just Sucker Punch me, which is looking terrifying. I think we just go Brave Bird here. And I think we read the Sucker Punch and we just go for a Protect. Yeah, it's up play. You could be Sash, though, which is the real problem. You gotta be going for Sucker Punch. I might just swap into Sneasel here, just so we can have Fake Out next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap for him instead of just protecting it. So I'm reading a Sucker Punch here. Um, we're gonna go into a Brave Bird, probably trigger Focus Ash, because you definitely have Focus Ash if Shen Pao doesn't. And there's a the Sucker Punch. Good call on our end. He's gotta be going for uh, Thunder Punch into Ho. -Oh. That's the only problem here, is can we soak up this Thunder Punch? I knew you were sashed. And let's see how this one plays out. We kind of have to soak up this Thunder Punch, but I don't think we can. Bad news. Real bad news. Can you soak it? Don't. Really needed that. This Groudon's just been a problem for us this game. I really started, or should have started, attacking this thing a lot earlier in the match, but... Sometimes it go that way. Hmm. Anybody I can win this one? I don't think so. Grass is gone. 
Um, I have Fluttermane. You can still Sucker Punch me to KO me. Uh, I think I just had to go for a fake out there, and I guess just attack this Groudon. I mean, I really can't do much here. Unless you miss some moves. There goes our booster energy. Keeping Protosynthesis alive. Speed's going to be heightened. And from here, we're just going to go for a Shadow Ball into this slot. And I guess we will just go for a fake out to look to KO this Urshifu. But I think it's going to detect. Yeah. Pretty simple. I should have faked out the Groudon. And there's Dage Double Protect, so pretty smart play on their end. And now from here, honestly, we're just going to Dire Call this, uh, this Urshifu and just protect our Fluttermane. Definitely in our best interest. I mean, I could attack with the Fluttermane, but you're just going to Sucker Punch and look to KO. You're just looking to Sucker Punch and KO. So I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to go for a Dire Call. Look to KO this Urshifu. See how this one plays out. Because honestly, they could be going for a single target move into my Fluttermane. Which would be pretty big. Which would maybe give us a shot. But if I were them, I'd just go for Blades here, you know? There's Sucker Punch. We're blocking Sucker Punch. Which is good. Dire Call is going to finish off. Hold up. Miss Blades. Miss whatever you're doing. Or attack my Fluttermane, right? Either miss Blades or attack my Fluttermane. Goes for Heat Crash. No! No! There goes my Seasler. That's pretty much game now. That's pretty much game now, unless my Shadow Ball does, for some reason, enough to one-shot a Groudon, <laughs> which would be crazy. But still, solid first match. I feel like our opponent just played really well there. From here, we're going to go for Shadow Ball. That Sucker Punch was really doing us dirty. Can you go for Blades and just, like, miss it? It's actually not bad damage. There's the Heat Crash. That's GG. So, again, great game from a Groudon, or from their Groudon. We just let it stay on the field a bit too long. Looking for our first win for today's video, and we're going up against a Miradat squad. I have Roboom. I have to bring Roboom and take control of this train because everybody knows letting Miradon sit in that ledge train is just no bueno. It's not good at all. It's not good at all. I think it's just going to eventually rip up into us. But what should I do here and how should I play? Because they kind of have like a Trick Room side of things with Farigraph, Ursaluna, and Iron Hands. Then they have like a non Trick Room side of things with Urshifu. Chiyu and Miraida. I mean, obviously, we want to bring in Rollaboom. I don't think we should lead Rollaboom. Honestly, I could lead Rollaboom and Sneasler and kind of just go from there. I do like Dire Claw. I do like all that stuff. So I am going to end up going into both of them. Sneasler does have Taunt as well. So I could just Taunt for a Graph and allow them not to get off Trick Room. I am going to bring Ho-Oh. And last but not least, I mean, I could bring Torgul. I could if I want to. But I don't think I'm going to need it. I really don't think I'm going to need it. I think we're just going to Fluttermane. Fluttermane just works so well here. I really don't think we're going to need it. Because if they want to go into the Trick Room side of things off turn one, they're going to have to lead for Graph and somebody else. I'll have two Fake Out users on the field. I can outspeed Fake Out their Fake Out user, which would probably be Iron Hands. And then just taunt uh, for Graph. And kind of go from there, right? And then kind of U-turn pivot the next turn. And yo, that is the coolest, coolest trainer card I've ever seen. You guys didn't see it, go back, pause the video. Low Tad in a fountain. I love me some Low Tad. Low Tad's the man. The man. The goat. This is a great lead for us, though. They go, when we ride on, we have Robin, we have Train Control right off the rip. Right off the rip. This thing's gonna end up going for Electric Sheets, boost his defense. No big deal. We're just gonna fake out the Mirai on, and we're still just going to taunt this for a graph. We really don't feel like dealing with it, right? We do not feel like dealing with it. Actually, we can't pick up me right on, which really sucks. Which really sucks. I'm still going to go for a U-turn pivot. I could go for high horsepower if I want to. Um, but yeah, I am still going to U-turn pivot here, and I'm just going to taunt the Furigraph. Taunt this lovely little Furigraph. We're not allowing it to set up Trick Room if it wants to do that. I always forget about Armor Tail, man. So we taunt right off the rip. Hopefully it's going for a trick room. If it goes for a second move, you can just dump on my Sneasel, which is not good at all for us. He's going to Volt Switch Pivot out of here. And it looks like he's going to bring out like an Ursaluna or something like that. There's something to thrive out in the trick room, and we're U-turn pivoting here as well. But I mean, now that they realize that you're, they're taunted, they might not bring out Ursaluna. Let's see what you got here. It's going to be Ursaluna, so I guess they're trying to go for trick room here. I feel like they have to. And now I can just bring out Ho-Oh. And maybe just start coaching it up. Get some defense boost. Especially because that one is physical attacking. That's Ursaluna. That's really good for us. So I'm going to bring out the Ho-Oh. Let's we'll see what Fergie wants to go for. It's got to be Trick Room if this was your plan. Yep, good call for us. Great call for us. Beautiful call for us. Now we have our Sneasler next to our Ho-Oh. 
They do have Ursulina out here on the field. Um, Ursulina might just try to like facade me down. And I mean, going for like Sacred Fire is probably in our best interest and just attacking this slot. Just trying to get rid of this for a graph. And coaching up all day. I mean, I have a Grass Terror type, but I really don't feel like going into Grass Terror type. We dodge ground moves right now, so. We're just going to coach up. He's going to protect Ursula. This is a great turn for us. He's protecting Ursaluna, and we're attacking for a graph. That is great. We get a free low coaching boost. And I get to attack this for a graph. Plus one on attack with Sacred Fire stab. Sacred Fire is just awesome. Does so much damage. Does so much damage. We have damage on the free graph, and we get the burn, baby. I wish free graph was physical attacking, but still, burn's a burn. Psychic Noise is going to fly through it. This is going to KO us all day. We're four times a week to that, but still, I don't mind that. I could have went into the Dark Terror type and just read that pretty easily, but I think saving our Terror type is, is a bit bit better in our interest, right? Now, I could go roll him and force this Miraidon out, but I think saving our, our what's called is probably in our best interest. I think saving our roll boom is definitely in our best interest. Considering they have me ride on, we just need this train control. But this fruit graph should still be taunted. I think from here, uh, we just want to go into a double down into Ursaluna, considering it just protected last turn. And we just have to make sure that this thing is still taunted, right? Yeah, one turn. So let's just start chipping up some damage. We're going to go for a sacred fire into this slot. And on top of that, I might just tear and go dazzle gleam. Well, I could protect and make a nice little read that he's attack of Fluttermane. Now, I think I think the combination of Terra Dazzle Gleam and Sacred Fire should KO Ursaluna. Chances are they might even swap up Pokemon here as well, so... We're just gonna get after it. We're going straight for attacking, trying to KO this Ursaluna. I mean, Dazzle Gleam probably not gonna KO this for a graph. I really want it to, but I don't think it does, right? But it kind of makes sense to why this uh, for a graph soaks Sacred Fire so well. I forgot about the Electric Seeds boost. It doesn't mean gonna connect. No problem. Does it KO the Friggies? It doesn't KO Friggies. We need Sacred Fire to KO this uh, Ursaluna. I think it will. Yeah, we do so much damage with that. Beautiful. Nice damage. They got one turn left in Tall. He's gonna Psychic Noise probably my Ho-Oh, which really sucks. Really hate that, because I, I can't use Recover anymore. But I like where we're sitting here with the, with the speed aspect of things. I really do. The Burn's gonna chip up for a graph. Another Dazzling Gleam will KO for a graph, no problem. So I'll just click that next turn. And if they go into Miraidon, we're just going to swap Ho-Oh for Wilbum. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. Fine by me. Fine by me. You're going to Terrastalize your Miraidon. We're going to swap into Rillaboom. Hopefully, Re I don't know if Regenerator still works with Psychic Noise on the field. I don't know how that works. I really don't. I could slow down Miraidon here with an Icy Wind. That could be a good play for us. Do I slow it down or do I just rip a gleam? I think we just rip a gleam. We need to get off some damage here. Hopefully Fluttermane can soak next turn. Because if Fluttermane can soak this turn, that'd be so big. That would be really big. So I'm swapping ho oh, I want terrain control. I need terrain control. We're not going to sit here and allow me ride on the sit in the Celestia train. And we're going to go right into Arillaboom. Right into our Arillaboom. We're really hoping they're not swapping me ride on. I doubt it. I think they're ready to just attack. And it would be so nice if Regenerator still works. And we're going to see an Electric Tire pop out here. Most likely, right? Electric or Fairy for the most part. A lot of times I've been seeing Electric. And no, it's going to be Fairy. A little bit of Fairy Terra action here. A little bit of Fairy Terra. So again, if I could slow down my ride on with an Icy Wind, that could be so big for us. Helping Hand's going to fly here. This is looking a little scary. You going for Discharge, maybe? You might be going for Discharge. But Dazzling Gleam's still going to chunk up some nice damage. I probably should have went for an Icy Wind. Would have been really nice for us. And wow, we get the crit. We get the crit. We'd love that damage. So he's got a helping hand boost. He's not in Electric Train, so kind of hoping we can soak in. Are you going after Rollboom? Oh, we love that. We love that. So now I can just go for an Icy Wind. I mean, I can fake out my ride on. He's probably going to protect. Um, I could honestly double down with Grassy Glide. Here's your final Pokemon here. It's going to be Iron Hands. It's going to be Iron Hands. We're just going to fake out Iron Hands before he can fake us out. If I'm going to do that, I am just going to go for an Icy Wind here. Slow down the, the uh, the me ride on for my ho oh, and then kind of go from there, right? I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So we fake out the iron hands before he can even fake us out. I'm gonna be able to slow this thing down so my ho oh can actually outspeed it later. And as long as my Pokemon 
or as long as you either leave Fluttermane on the field or it soaks it up, we should be fine here. He's gonna go into another Elytra Drift into Rillaboom, who soaks it. Beautiful. Sitting in a great position now. A lovely position now. A lovely position. And it kind of seems like he's choice at this point. I feel like he would have went into like a Draco Meteor or something. But from here, I'm just gonna go Grass Guide here. I'm gonna double down with Dazzle Gleam, and that should pretty much be the game. Pretty much wrap it up, right? Grass Guide bring you low. Dazzle Gleam finishes you off. Does some big time damage over onto Iron Hands. And what's Iron Hands gonna do? Try to pick up a KO onto Fluttermane? Maybe you got Heavy Slam? It don't really matter. I got my Ho in the back end. I got high horsepower on my Rollaboom. We're chilling here. This match is in the bag. So we're bet so we bounced back here in match number two. Actually killed it. We used Sneasler. Got it out there with our Ho-Oh. Of course you get a crit here, but you're gonna take some mean recoil damage. Gets a crit with a wild charge. But we got Sneasler out there next to Ho-Oh. Coached it up to go plus one on each side and then swapped out Ho-Oh at the right time. After it did some big time damage to Furgarev and Ursaluna. But I told you guys, the key to beating me right on is just like having Robum on your team and just keeping that terrain control. Because whenever it's not in that ledge terrain, its value goes from here to here. It just drops down significantly and you can really just like, you can really just contain it, right? But when it's in that terrain, it's just like, oh my god, like you can't contain it. It's one tap and everything. But from here, we're just going to go for high horsepower, sacred fire. They probably cancel the match. Yep, there it is. We're sitting one and one. Moving on to our final match, looking for that 2-1 winning record. Going up against an Alolan Ninetales Snowish kind of team. I mean, they got Primarina, they got uh, Ice Rider Calyrex, they got Inkdidi on top of that. They are rocking out with Ogre Pond and Umbreon. So, I mean, they could go into Trick Room and we might just want to taunt Sneasel from here. So, Sneasel is going to be a great lead for us. And same thing with maybe like Rollaboom, just to pop those grassy seeds and maybe just get that, uh, get that Ho-Oh kicking right especially with this defense boost i really like this combo so i kind of want to go into that um i could bring twerkle just in case i mean twerkle is going to be great for weather control but that's going to be more so of a uh back end pokemon so i'm going to go into Rollboom here for the lead i'm going to go ho -Oh, and i'm going to double down with my fire pokemon with twerkle i mean my fire pokemon actually rip here besides primarina obviously and if ogre pine terrestrialize other than that if we can just get like this sun out here sacred fire and eruption is just going to delete pokemon just delete them so, that's kind of the hopes here. The hope is to win the Weather War, maybe taunt up a Trick Room user, kind of get going from there. Makes sense, right? They could lead Indeedee and, um, Indeedee and Calyrex, and if that's the play, we just hard swap Rillaboom right made off the rip. It's going to be Indeedee and Ogre Pond. So, do we get Terrain Control here? I would love Terrain Control here. I would love me some Terrain Control here. Pop your terrain, Indeedee. No, usually Indeedee wins this. Indeedees are usually a bit slower. But still, we still get our uh, grassy seeds popped out here, which is great. Um, I can't fake out, which is a slight issue for me. Um, I could hard swap into Ho-Oh, which wouldn't be a bad call. And I could just go into a Dire Claw, maybe in the Ogre Pond. I mean, I'm unburdened. My speed's through the roof right now. My speed is through the roof. Alright, so from here, we're just going to go Dire Claw. I mean, do you have a psychic move? We wouldn't like that one bit. I doubt it, though. I doubt you're sending a psychic move my way. I'm going to do that and just hard swap into uh, Ho-Oh here. Hard swap right into the Ho-Oh, because I just want to go for a coaching. And just kind of go from there. I am scared of the psychic move. Like I said, we're four times a week to psychic moves. You guys seen psychic noise just dump on Sneasel last game. But, I mean, I just don't see this, uh... This Indeedee just ripping me with a psychic move. I think it's more of a supporting kind of Indeedee here. But now looking at it after you spiky shield, are you attacking me? You might be KO my Sneasler. Yep, Sneasler's gone, dude. I should've terrestrialized it. I even thought about it, too. Really hurts soul. We just lose a good part of our team. Sneasler dead to an Indeedy, which is terrible. Do we think they have Ninetales? Maybe. Oh, no, we're going right into Turkle here. If you're going to swap anybody for Ninetales, it's going to be Indeedy. So I'm going to attack Indeedy. And I'm still ripping the eruption. I'm still ripping the eruption. I'm going for Sacred Fire into Indeedee. Eruption and Sacred Fire. He's going to go for an Ivy Cudgel into Twerkle. He's looking to neutralize some of the damage. And wow! Wow! You get a crit. I was not expecting that much damage to fly through. Indeedee takes a big chunk of damage. We're going to be able to take out Indeedee here. Of course you get the crit, man. Of course you get the crit. They're doubling down to my Torkoal. 
My Torkoal just dies. We are sitting in such a bad position, but I'm gonna win this game. I'm telling you guys right now, we're winning this game. My boy Rillaboom. And... And my boy What's Called is gonna win this game. He's gonna Spiky Shield this turn, we already know it. We already know he's Spiky Shielding. We already know he's Spiky Shielding, and we can go into the Fire Terror type. So he's gonna Spiky Shield this turn, uh... We're just gonna fake out the Indeedee slot. Is there really a point of faking out Indeedee slot? I mean, honestly, we should just U-turn to KO Indeedee. And then if I can, just go for... This is a non-contact move. Could boost our speed stat here. But I mean, I'd rather just go for Brave Bird. Let's do this. He ends up withdrawing Indeedee. He thinks we're faking that out. You're definitely Spiky Shield. There's no doubt in my mind that you're Spiky Shield. And Primarine is gonna fly out here. Yep, there's Spiky Shield. The Spike Shield comes out, we probably should just double down this Primarina slot. We should have. We, we were reading the Spike Shield all day. But this is more of like a just in case kind of thing. We can just rip up into this Pokemon. Because I should have went for the Flame Charge this turn into the Primarina slot just to give us some speed. Would have been really nice. But they're just going to swap right back into Indeedee. They want that terrain control. They want that terrain control. So from here, we know they're going to swap back into Indeedee. We're going to Terrasalize here. And we're just going to U turn. Actually, I mean, we might as well go for a Grass Glide here. I mean, if you don't, we still do some nice damage. And from here, we're just going to Brave Bird you. Even though you're probably Thrasalizing. But still, nice little Brave Bird. Never hurts anybody. Looking for the comeback here. I mean, we kind of just let our team kind of die out here. Which was all me. I should have Thrasalized our Sneasel turn one and we would have been thriving here. But he's going to end up hard swapping. And we're going into a fire type. So we know, we, we know what their team has, right? We know what their team is. It's Ogre Pond, Calyrex, and then these two are on the field. Um, we're trying. We're trying to win this. We are trying to win this. And yeah, if I would have just Trasalized my Sneasel right off the rip going to Dark Type, we would have been sitting in a way better position than this. But Brave Bird going to fire. It is going to pick up the KO onto DD. I do have Recover, which is nice. And Grass Guy should still do some nice damage here. Without Terrain... Okay, it did okay damage. Hyper Boy's gonna fly, and we're in the sunlight, so that's good news. That is good news. The so Primarina's gonna get Throat Stray popping. Um, I could just start recovering with my Ho-Oh, which could be good. But it depends on who they go into. They go into Calyrex, they're just gonna protect it, right? Or you're gonna, you're gonna Thrasalize it. So he's gonna Terra here. Um, I think from here, it could be a Fire Terror type. So we might just want to go into a high horsepower and rip into it with a, with a brave bird. I don't think he's going to protect. I think he's going to terrestrialize and just try to attack me. So this is legit the game right here. If we can make a good terror read if it's fire, which I think it's going to be fire. We could be sitting really nice. I doubt it's water. It's going to be water. I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset if it's water. Yep, there's Terra. There's Terra. Show me fire. Show me fire and we have a chance. Show me fire, baby. It's fire. Come on, man. High horsepower. How much damage are you doing? That's the real question. Protect comes out. Oh, and a protect from Prima Arena. Hold up. Might be going for Trick Room here. Brave Bird flying. How much damage are you doing, Brave Bird? High horsepower. I need the KO here. I need the KO. I need the KO, Robum. Come on, Robum. You're doing... Your damage is just not there right now. We made the read, we did everything we could. And now that pretty much sets us up to lose this game. Pretty much sets us up to lose this game. Uh, we gotta go for another high horsepower, but I don't think it's KOing. That's my problem here. That's my problem here, we're gonna go for recover. But yeah, I, I just, I, this, is, this is over now. We made the read, we did everything we could. The one play that we made a mistake was not Terrasalizing our Sneasler. If we Terrasalized our Sneasler, it was a good game. But Robum ends up soaking, which is good news. Hyper Voice gonna fly though, which really sucks. And yeah, now it's definitely game. Now it's definitely game, even if we recover here. Well, that's, how much HP could recovery give us? That's the real question. How much HP are we getting here? Not enough. That's just not enough. It's just not enough. I mean, we gotta go for Brave Bird for the KO, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough. I really wish that high horsepower would have did more. I really do. 
But Glacier Lance gonna fly here, do a nice chunk of damage. The sunlight's gone anyway, and that's picking up a KO regardless. So GG to our opponent. We go one and two for today's video. I feel terrible. I want to apologize. We should have terrestrialized that Sneasler. I knew that there was a chance that they were gonna go into Psychic there, and we were just called a bluff. We were like, you do not have it, and they ended up just protecting dumping on me and because of that we lost the match i feel like if we just would have thrashed the sneezler that match would have been totally different we would have had a great pokemon on our team been able to coach up the ho-oh and got after the match that way but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive every day i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody